I'm so bad at chess. Oh my. Yeah, that's me. And I just lost the most important chess game of my life. But first, let's rewind 30 days earlier. See, when I was a kid, I loved playing chess, but when I got into middle school, I kind of lost interest in it. Then a few months ago, I watched The Queen's Gambit, and I finally decided that I wanted to get back into it. The only problem was that now I played like- Nice. I mean, dude, I had not played in years, and I mean, on chess.com, I was getting beat by players with a rating of 500, which for those of you that don't know, is the complete beginner level. So I decided to take my rating from 500 all the way up to 1000 in just 30 days. This is what happened. Now, like I said, I knew nothing other than how the pieces moved. So how the hickety heck was I supposed to double my rating? That is where a 2000 rated player comes in. My name is David Gautier. I'm mm -hmm. an advanced chess player, I guess. How long have you been playing chess for? Three is when I learned how to move the pieces. Mm -hmm. Nine is when I started playing online. And yeah. 13 is when I started playing competitively. You mentioned before that you that you've played in tournaments, right? And have you won any tournaments? If you had to count how many? I've done so many tournaments, I can't think, but probably- All good, all good. At least five, in. That's At least five. Thinking. Okay. And then the amount that you've competed in? Okay, we'll say th in between 30 and 40. In between 30 and 40, that's still insane. So with all that said, I think that it's very fair that you go against um, what I would like to call a master, um, probably a profound, oh. A profound Olympian in the sport, uh, myself, in a game of chess. Oh, really? Oh, I so, me and David are going to play a game of chess, and I'm gonna crush him. After playing a game, after, you know, talking about all the different strategies, what do you think as a competitive player would be the three best tips for beginners like myself? Yeah, so I would say, number one, play a bunch of games. You're going to improve over time the more you play. Number two, play, do puzzles. Do puzzles. Um, Leadchess.org has a bunch of puzzles that you can do for free, unlimited puzzles. Um, but chess.com is generally more recommended for like better puzzles. Number three, that was analyzing your games. Just a little bonus tip is read books mm -hmm. and watch videos. Just continually learn and grow your knowledge. To tie everything up, is 1,000 a good score to, to have as my goal? Yeah, being able to beat a, someone rated 1,300 and mm -hmm. yeah, getting to 1,000. I think, yeah, that's a reasonable goal. Four digits. I'm now going to take everything that you've told me and I'm gonna practice for 30 days and then after these 30 days, I will rematch you and I will maybe possibly beat you. So that's exactly what I did. I decided that an hour a day would be best for me and could probably be manageable for any of you that see chess as just a hobby. So in my hour, I spent 20 minutes doing puzzles on leechess.com and then the other 40 minutes focusing on playing games. Something else that I did, but I didn't really count towards my one hour a day of chess was I started to watch a lot more chess videos. One of my personal favorite chess channels is uh, Gotham Chess. I just love the blend of education and entertainment that he brings to his videos. I'll be sure to have it linked down below. This dude is so trash. He doesn't deserve to win a damn game against me for the next year. This man is the worst chess player in Europe. So uh, I am about halfway through this challenge right now and I don't know, this this one's different. Like like I'm halfway through, but I feel like I feel like I've made no progress and I also feel like I haven't learned anything. Like I I don't know. I like I still feel like I'm playing the same way that I did when I just started. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm completely wrong and I'm missing the progress that I have made, but I don't know, like for all the other challenge videos that I did, quitting never really crossed my mind, but for this one for this one, I definitely thought about scrapping the whole video. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see if this becomes a video. But I had already come so far. I had already taken the tips from David and I knew I could not give up. It really just came down to consistency and practice. 
I even tried out chess.com's free trial of premium just to get unlimited puzzles. And coming down to the end of this challenge, I was getting really close. Okay, so today is the 26th, and right now my rating is a 9.95. I'm like so nervous right now because I'm like so close to 1,000, and like recently I've been winning a lot of games, I'm not even gonna lie, but there's always that chance that I might go down. Like I think today I lost a game and I won a game. So right now I'm gonna play my last game and I'll update you guys on how it goes. The clock was ticking, and I was starting to run out of time for completing this challenge. Alrighty, it's a new day. Let's try again, and hopefully I can get it this time. Wow. Uh, that game was what, like, less than 10 minutes? Definitely less than 10 minutes, maybe less than five minutes. This has to be it. This has to be me. Wait, that has to be me, please. Let's go. One, 1,000, 1,000. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I couldn't even finish the game with him, but this challenge is finally, finally done. 1,003 points. Wow, let's go, let's go. So, yep, your boy did it. I went from a complete chess beginner to crossing the 1,000 rating on chess.com in just 30 days. But I still had one more thing to do. It's been a month. Are you ready to get destroyed? You're gonna play D6 now? What? I don't even know where knight C6 is. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, this is using all of my brain cells right now. <laughs> like, allow, it's allow me. It's three. I make the most with what I've got. And what I've got is a three point advantage. So I'm just saying, if we're shooting from three. Oh. Um, I am now a thousand rated player. You played a fantastic game. Thank like, you. no, no doubt, yeah. at least. The, the level of a 1300. Obviously, I've learned a lot about chess during this time, and I just want to know from you, now that since we've both been consistently playing over this month, um, is there anything that you learned about teaching, about coaching, or about uh, helping beginners out? Is there anything that you learned uh, that could help you uh, going forward with chess? I've learned that coaching doesn't have to be super serious. Always learning and just having fun with what you're doing is what matters. Obviously, if you want to get better, put, put the effort, but have fun at the same time. It makes it a lot easier. This would not have at all been possible without you. You obviously helped out a lot during this entire thing, and I think you shared uh, a lot of good information that is really going to help a lot of beginners, Re regardless of, of if only one person sees this video and, you know, they, they're like me and they just, it reignites that flame for playing chess and uh, getting better. Um, obviously, thank you so much for all the, the information. I am, of course, going to have all of David's information linked down below in the description, as well as many of the other resources uh, that you talked about. Um, be sure, check him out, subscribe, follow, all that kind of stuff. David, thank you so much for this month-long journey, and I hope to create more videos with you going forward. This has been awesome. Yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for having me, man. It's been a joy. It's been a pleasure, yeah. honestly. All right. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I highly recommend that you check out the secret playlist that I made for you with all the other challenges that I've done, from increasing my typing speed to learning how to play the guitar. It would really help me out if you left a like on this video, and if you didn't like it, make sure you don't subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so dumb.